Y'all see that space in front of me? That's not for you. That's not for you. You can see that the right lane is an exit only lane. That's my safe stopping distance. That's not for you to cut over. I'm loaded at almost 80,000 pounds. You know what happens if I can't stop? You turn into a tin can. We can't stop like a car can. And I don't know how many times we have to try and educate you. Oh, everybody out there in a car. Like this dude. Why? Why? Why do you gotta do that? First of all, it's a construction zone, so you shouldn't be taking chances like that. There's people out here working trying to fix the road and make it better for your stupid butt. But all you care about is, gotta hurry up and cut off the truck. Makes no sense at all. One of these days you're gonna cut the wrong truck off and it's not gonna turn out good for you. 90% of all crashes involving semis are the fault of the car. Because you do stupid things. One of these days you're going to play stupid games and you're going to win a real stupid prize. might look like more, but I've only got a hundred feet between me and that guy in front of me. And at the speed I'm going, 15 miles an hour, that's enough space for me to stop. But if three cars all of a sudden decide to pile in there, no, it's not. There's a lot of dumb truckers out there, too. They drive like jerks. I can't do anything about them. They should know better. You guys, it's just ignorant. and all these four-wheelers here. That's what we call cars, four-wheelers.
no, I don't have to yield to you. See all them yield signs on the right? Right. That means that lane needs to yield to this lane, the one that I'm in. If we have room, most of us will move over and let you in. But if we don't, then you have to yield. Take the exit on the right to I-94 North. Three right lanes, then take the exit. 